You're watching America This Morning, America's number one early morning news. And the president is also keeping a watchful eye on the growing tension and violence in the Middle East. Israeli forces killed the top Hamas military leader yesterday in this attack, and they are pounding Gaza again today. ABC's Alex Marquardt is live in Jerusalem with the breaking developments. Alex? Good morning, Robin Paula. That's right. The Israeli airstrikes and the retaliatory uh, Palestinian rocket attacks have continued overnight into this morning. Israel says it has carried out over 100 attacks on targets in the Gaza Strip, not just on individuals like Ahmed Jabari, who was killed yesterday, but on rocket sites, including on the long-range Fajar rockets. They're Iranian-made. They've got a range of about 50 miles, and they could hit Tel Aviv. In response, Hamas and other Palestinian uh, militant groups have targeted southern Israel with rockets. We're getting word now that four Israelis have been killed in the southern area around the Gaza Strip. At least 12 Palestinians have been killed, according to our producer down in Gaza. They, inc <clears throat> they include two young children, a woman and an old man. But Israel says most of those killed have been militants. Now, the most famous, of course, is Ahmed Jabari. He was the head of Hamas's military wing, the Ezzedin al-Qassam brigades. For the last eight years, Israel c accuses him of carrying out many, many attacks against Israel. His funeral is today, and Hamas says that with this assassination, Israel has opened the gates of hell. Israel also says it's ready to enlarge this operation. It has called up its reservists and is ready for a ground offensive. And Alex, quick question here. What does, does this latest strike mean for the relative stability of that region? Well, of course, this further destabilizes an already unstable region, what with this uh, Syrian civil war going on just to the north of us. So everyone's now looking towards Egypt to broker some sort of deal between the, the militant groups and Israel, as they've done in the past. Egypt, for its part, has withdrawn its ambassador from Israel, but so far no progress has been made on that front. Of course, the big question uh, going into an Obama second term is whether the Palestinian peace process could get back on track. Of course, this latest development, this escalation, pushes that hope further down the road. All right, certainly we'll keep an eye on that throughout the morning. Alex Marquardt, again, live for us from Jerusalem this morning. Thanks, Alex.